Christmas, Hallmark and Laurie Loughlin are three things that go together so well. And this is exemplified in the 2016 film Every Christmas Has a Story. This was directed by Ron Oliver, written by Oliver, David Golden and Andrea King and stars, of course, Laurie Loughlin alongside Colin Ferguson. And I absolutely adored this film. This is my first Hallmark film of the year. Kind of starting getting those Christmas films in early, I think. And it's an absolute beautiful film to start with. Part of the reason I love it is because Laurie Loughlin plays a character called Kate, Kate Harper, who is a broadcaster, or I guess a TV presenter is probably the better better term for it. And I love films about broadcasting and TV journalism. She does not like Christmas, and she accidentally admits that on air. So to rectify this, the TV network sends her to um, Hollyvale, which is hailed as a small little Christmas town, to try and rediscover her Christmas spirit and broadcast it in the run-up to Christmas. But while she is there, she realises that the town is actually lacking in Christmas spirit, and there's a very specific reason for it. And she uses her journalistic skills to try and unravel the truth behind that. So it's quite a... I wasn't expecting it to be a kind of mystery detective story. But it works really well. And it does kind of keep us guessing right until the end. So that aspect of it I really loved. And I thought the execution of the narrative was brilliant. I love mysteries. I love broadcast journalism. I love Laurie Loughlin. I love Hallmark Christmas. It kind of just gives me everything I wanted on a platter. And I cannot really fault that aspect of it. The narrative was just wonderful. I feel like Kate's relationship with Jack, um, played by Colin Ferguson, was not necessarily necessary. I won't say any more than that, but I feel like it was just fluff. It was a bit of padding to maybe give the characters a bit more meaning. But actually, Kate's already quite a well-developed character as it is. There are certain things that we find out about her as the narrative develops. And... Compared to a lot of Hallmark characters, she actually has a lot of depth to her. A reasonable amount of depth. I won't go overboard and say she's uh, depth aplenty, but I feel like the relationship with Jack was just not ne- not 100% necessary. I feel like it detracted from a lot of the other qualities of the film, but it is a Hallmark Christmas film, and that is what I expected from it. So I wasn't really disappointed with it. I kind of knew it would be there. But just from a a critical and analytical perspective, I feel like it was unnecessary padding. Isabella Giannulli, Guanoli, I am completely mispronouncing that at least one of those times, and I completely apologise, I am terrible with pronunciations. But she plays Mia, and Mia is brilliant. She is a receptionist at the hotel where Kate and Jack are staying. She is vivacious and full of energy and is an aspiring journalist so she very much looks up to Kate she kind of embodies the Christmas spirit in many ways she's very smiley and overexcitable and you'd think that'd get irritating but actually because there's not much Christmas overexcitement in the village itself it kind of balances out quite well I will say I did notice that she was basically on the front desk at all times I don't know who else works in that hotel but she's quite a young girl manning the front desk morning noon and night by the by the looks of it so that was a bit peculiar but it does have the Christmas spirit in terms of the soundtrack there aren't that many Christmas songs in it in terms of decorations it does have a kind of Christmassy vibe there are a lot of Christmas trees and Christmas lights so that works well there isn't anything about it I would change really Uh, maybe the relationship with Jack but then would it be a hallmark film if we did that and got rid of that I don't think it would be I really enjoyed it. As I said, this is the first one that I've watched this side of the year for Christmas. Definitely helping get me into the Christmas spirit. Is it one of my favourite Hallmark Christmas films? I'd say it's up there in the top ten. It delivered everything I wanted and more. I really can't fault it. 